Last time on Total Drama Action. An all-night heart-to-heart led to Courtney and Duncan patching things up. But there was a catch. And lovebirds weren't the only animals on set, as the cast were each paired up with an animal buddy to train in their image. While some bonded with their animals, others butted fins. In the end, Beth won invincibility. Duncan's vote sent Courtney packing. And a timely message outed Owen as the mole, earning him a seat in the limousine. Which brings us to the final two. Who would have guessed? And who'll be taking home our grand prize of one million dollars? Find out right now on Total Drama Action! The mom and dad, I'm doing fine. You guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. I want to be. Nothing in my way, I'll get there one day Cause I wanna be famous na 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 Never thought I'd be the last girl left on Total Drama Action! Yep, now it's just me. All alone in the scary trailer. Oh, I miss all my girls, even Heather. Uh, uh. Oh, it's Beth chattering again. Huh. With a face like that, I'd be scared too. <laughs> right, guys? Right. Nobody left to laugh at my excellent zingers. Good news is there's also nobody left to reek up the trailer with jungle breath. Nobody to wake me up with screaming night terrors. Mommy! Mommy! And nobody with any chance at taking my guaranteed million away. <laughs> Put a blindfold on, loser! Man, I'm never gonna get to sleep. What the... Duncan? Duncan? It's a PD day, Ma. Uh, Duncan! I think we've been Shanghai! Huh. Tight but not painful. Chef's losing his edge. Wait! I have a plan! It's going to help make sure that one of us wins a million dollars! All I'm planning is to make sure that the one of us is me. We could work together, like teamsies. Teamsies? Reach over to untie me, then I'll undo yours. Oh, sure. And then you leave me here and get a head start? I don't have a mean bone in my body. I'm everybody's friend. I like everybody. They like me. <laughs> really? Even Heather? And Courtney always said you made her feel like... Are you gonna undo me or not? Scooch over. When I was a kid, Ma insisted on sending me to Muskrat Boys. We had to wear doinky vests and sell apples, but all the knot tying lessons meant I'm pretty much a Houdini at tying and untying stuff. Came in handy a bunch of ways I don't think Ma had in mind. Breakfast, anyone? <laughs> and what's today's delicious special? Roast lab rat? Snot getty with booger balls? Duncan, you better look at this. Wait, Chef, is that food? Fresh fruit to ward off scurvy, hot flapjacks to prevent uh, lice, or whatever, all prepared according to my highest personal standards. Chef in a good mood? That's like Heather saying she's sorry. You have to take advantage of it while it's happening. <laughs> Yar, mateys! Me parrot Chris Jr. 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 and I want to congratulate ye land lovers for making it to the final two. And as ye can probably tell, today be Space Zombies Movie Day! It's actually Pirate Movie Day! 
and you're on deck for a swashbuckling obstacle course, followed by a treasure hunt through the entire season's challenges. And if you want to claim your million dollar booty, you might want to rethink that all for one, one for all approach. Somebody has to win, right? I guess it might as well be me. To be nice, I could share the prize with Lindsay or with Brady, my totally real boyfriend. He already likes me heaps, but a million dollars never hurt a girl's attractiveness. Obstacle number one, swab the poop deck. <laughs> Obstacle number two, pun intended. Grab a flag, shimmy off the grease mask, and fly your Jolly Roger. And finally, a cannonball! The target is the Monster Chomped movie set. Ready, set, and go! <laughs> Ugh, my nostrils are burning! I get it, the food's laced with laxatives, right? Nice. Nope. Just going out in style. Going out? What do you mean? That's the last meal I'm ever going to serve on this two-bit show. I got me a gig stepping on a swanky cruise ship, so you can kiss my behind goodbye. Yeah, yeah, and I got a job hosting the Oscars. Very funny. Who's laughing? <laughs> totally gonna puke. Well, I ain't cleaning it up. Hey, Chris, more swabs over here. If our contestants think they have it rough, the people on Chef's fancy cruise ship will have to suffer through a slop with no chance of winning a million. I don't think you want to keep going there. Looks like Duncan will be the first to finish the deck. Duncan? Teamsies? Please? <laughs> Whatever. Looks like Bigfoot's not done yet. Which means Duncan isn't either. Beth, Teamsies? I'm sorry. Teamsies work both ways. It's one of the rules of niceness. Hope you're ready then, Beth, because the gloves are coming off. <sighs> so maybe that wasn't super nice of me. Looks like I might have one cutthroat bone in my body. Just one of those teensy weensy ones in your ear. Let's call it my cutthroat cochlea. <laughs> Nobody's around to help you. Duncan, I... You think I'm gonna fall for the nice girl shtick again? Fat chance. Later, loser. <laughs> Get bail. We're a team. I fly solo. I'm a maverick. Dude, without this job, you'd still be selling street meat outside the bus station. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Whoa! Duncan two, bet zip. Ever fired an air cannon before? Uh, not this particular model. If you're going to hit that target, it's going to take a whole lot of air. Uh. Hmm, something's missing. What? No, you pump like my grandma, maggot. Chef, are you okay? After a whole season of lift, now you want to know if I'm okay? She's prime. Get in. Seriously? Buckle up, cannonball. You gonna fire the cannon, or are you just gonna stand there and be useless? N now you see that? That attitude is why I'm out of here. I've had it with watching you do your bogus job and get all the glory, while I'm stuck with all the grunt work. Hosting is way harder than what you do. I dare you to try it sometime. Fine, let's go. Fine, be my guest. Guys, trying to win a million bones over here, okay? Just like the rest of your job. Oh, you'll see. Guys? I'll see what? How easy it is? Guys? Have you even ever read a cue card? Guys! What? I did it! I rocked! Woo! Sorry, girl. I'm gonna have to leave you in the hands of Mr. Personality here and get on with my super easy hosting duties. I'm totally capable of shooting a girl out of a cannon on my own. Thank you. Guess we'll see. Aren't you forgetting something? It's about that time when people might go to the fridge or change channels and not come back. 
Who will win the million bucks? Who will not? Do not touch that clicker. We will find out right after this. I said get your hands off that clicker. Okay, so what am I supposed to... I'm coming! Get your panties on! Sweet landing! Dude, I'm your righteous new host! Uh, Jeff! Can we get on with it so I can collect my million? Work with me here, kid. <clears throat> the rest of today's challenge is a gnarly treasure hunt. Yeah, through all the challenges, Chris told us. Oh, and did your ex host tell you that if you correctly answer a trivia question, you skip the challenge and move on to the next one? Right on, shoot. Okay, uh, bro, who got the space boot after the alien movie challenge? Duh, Jeff and Bridget, they made out like nonstop. Follow up question? Where was the weirdest place those lovebirds ever made out? How am I supposed to know that? Bridget talked about it like nonstop. As if I listen to some girl blah blah blahing about her love life. Too bad then. Time to get it on with the alien. Whatever. I kicked its butt twice already. Maybe, but in the spirit of Bridget and Jeff, you got a Mac on that space creature. <laughs> Let's make this grope fest nice and slobbery. Don't be shy now. Yeah, I, I'd rather kiss Heather again. Chris, what's wrong? Nothing. Stupid chef's doing my job, so I'm doing his stupid job. Did you two have a fight? None of your beeswax. Duncan has a huge lead, and you've got an air cannon to pump. Go! Who was left on the editing floor after the Make a Movie Challenge? And follow up, what was she reincarnated from? Izzy? She's such a freak, it could be anything. Bah! No part marks, bro. Can I stop with this bro stuff already? So I gotta haul the movie gear up the hill again. Been there, done that. You haven't done squat. This time, you gotta haul the hill up the hill. So get to it, Barrow boy. Uh... All right, Chris. Fire away, please. I gotta catch up. Darn these salty trade winds. Those onions still bugging you? Chef's leaving the show. <laughs> I guess it was hard for him toiling away in the kitchen all day all alone. Maybe he just wants more attention. <laughs> really? Have you tried being nice? Works for me sometimes. Ah! Should have pumped your cannon more. Thank you, Mr. Sorry, guy. Since you cannot tell me where transphobia came from... This time the horse lands on me? Sure, why not? Your question... I have to answer a question? I am not reading all these stupid cue cards again. Just tell me. Who was voted off first and why? You mean Jeff and Bridget? And where was the weirdest place they ever... Made out? Oh, my gumdrops. Bridget used to tell this crazy story. Ah, privacy. Time to catch some sweet artificial rays. <laughs> ah, my Tanomatic 3000! It's been painted! Uh, it sure smells nice in here. <laughs> like coconuts. I know that Gwen's favorite band is the Gottlieb Mine Explosion. She wants a 67 Mustang. Her brother has a Gibson Les Paul guitar. But I'm supposed to remember her lizard's names? Who cares? Ah! Let me guess. Release the hounds? And they can smell blood. Oh. So then the mime sneaked up on Trent in the crowd, which was not fair because mimes are super good at sneaking, even when they're in an invisible box. But the terrible surprise made poor little Trent wet his pants in front of everyone, right? You're right. Yes! Uh, I don't know. DJ likes, uh, dogs? Wrong! Horror movies don't scare me. <laughs> Bring it on. Now playing The Miracle of Childbirth. Oh. Chef? Chill! 
I'm doing the job of two people here. I haven't run this much since basic training. Gwen's lizards are named Angus and Vampira. Now what? <sighs> so, <laughs> did all you girls miss Gwen when she got the boot? Sure. Well, some of us. I mean, I like Gwen and everything, but she got so far last time, I guess I thought it was only... Uh, oh, uh, uh, the mines are buried! The blindfold is redundant! Redundant! Before Courtney got her overbite fixed, she bit, like, half her tongue off. I'm not supposed to know that. Was she as bullheaded ambitious as she seemed? Ha! Well, one time I was in the bathroom when she snuck in to eat an ice cream cone. even the biggest thing Owen pulled out of his nose that Christmas. Is that enough of an answer, Chef? What kind of host are you? I'm away! Chef Stalling has dug a big hole for Beth. Duncan's got a five-challenge lead. Stalling? You mean I didn't have to answer all those follow-up questions? Run, Beth! Run like the wind! It's still anybody's game, folks. Start biting those nails now! As host, it's your job to ramble on, not to make the contestants ramble on. Look, how about I'll follow Beth if you catch up to Duncan? Fine, but not because I need any help. Kaleidoscope thought she was 87 years old and the reincarnation of her own granny. Owen actually has 139 favorite foods. In alphabetical order, there's Alaskan King Crab, American Cheese, Apples, Apple Cobbler, Apple Crisp, Apple Pie. I don't know whose wedding Justin cried at. What kind of girly man cries at a wedding anyway? Ah, drop me in your dead meat. Ah, ah. We'll go for Boom Boom. His own aunt, Lady Mimi Cece Didi Laduda. Where's Duncan? The space movie victim question is... I know! Sweet Harold left after the space challenge. Fine. You can go on. You know, Chris told me he'll miss the heck out of you if you leave. Really? He said that? Yeah, he totally did. Wish me luck. Look at this suspenseful outcome. The next question could determine who climbs the golden ladder to Glory Town and who slides down the stinky slide to Loserville. All right, who was voted off after the Animal Buddy Challenge? Courtney. Courtney! Finally, I may not file away everybody's stupid details all the time, but I do know a thing or two about Courtney. Because she insisted. Perfect! The one person I didn't like enough to learn everything about! What was Courtney's band's name? Who cares? She shouldn't have been here in the first place. Launching a lawsuit against the show? That's poor sportsmanship and totally cheating, and it proves Courtney is barely a human being. Wow, Beth, interesting. But that wasn't the question. Courtney's band was the type A psychotic crazies. Later, losers. Hold on, bro. That was Beth's question. Your question, what color is Courtney thinking of? Right now? Are you serious? I don't know, uh, blue? Burnt Sienna! Ugh! He doesn't know anything about me! Tough luck! You both have to do the last challenge! That's okay. I kinda liked the Animal Buddy Challenge. It bit, but at least it won't kill us. Right, and that's boring. That's why instead, I'm bringing back the shakingest, the quakingest, the bone mashing this face bashing this challenge of all! The Disaster Movie Earthquake Challenge! This sucker tossed the mighty Owen around like a rag doll. Contestants ready! Good luck, suckers! <laughs> Just stay low and try not to poop your pants. I'm glad one of us is gonna win! Yeah! Action! <laughs> McLean, you throw like a girl! A five-year-old girl! Look, look out! There's your teamsies, okay? We're even. Ah, uh, you're so great! It made me think of you. Really? Want a hand? <laughs> the 
way you torture the kids. You're a natural, you know that? Knocking them down, bruising them up, killing their spirits. Nobody could do it quite like you, pal. You really mean that? If you really want to leave the show, it's cool. Good luck. Nah, I couldn't leave you all alone like that. You'd be terrible on your own. You're not that good. So you'll stay? After I get raised and a vacation. Deal. Then let's finish these suckers off. Forget it, Beth. Go on without me. Beth! If nice girls can't finish first, they can at least tie for first. If your retainer wasn't so vile, I'd kiss you. That's okay. I have a boyfriend. So, um, what exactly are we going to do about the million dollars? <laughs>